There is one dick right now that if you can go back and unsit on, your life would be drastically different. You would have avoided that heartache. You would have got that college degree. You wouldn't have those children. You would have traveled the world. You would have been so free to go into another relationship because you're not bogged down with soul ties. And you keep thinking casual sex doesn't have consequences when it does. It is a gateway. It's gateway dick. And I need you to quit settling for it. Namaste, God's Goddesses and the Mysteries of Light. This is Dr. Tayan. This video is very explicit, so I am giving you a pre-warning. This is for adults only. This is a, an adult discussion. This is not for kids. This is not a kid video. As you can see from the title, Good Dick, Bad Behavior. All right, do not get caught up in the hype of a man trapping you with lower chakra energy. As you can see in the opening, my friend, and yes, he is a good friend of mine, Ace Metaphor, has spoken to you about soul ties. Soul ties are very real and they can be very dangerous when you open up your yoni, your portal to any type of devil dick is what I call it. He calls it gateway dick. I call it devil dick. A devil dick is a penis that is a community penis. A man who sticks his penis anywhere who doesn't care where he sticks it okay this is a man who is immoral no matter how conscious he tries to paint himself stay away from those so-called male healers or male conscious fake awaken men because those are the ones that have gateway slash devil dick they use spirituality as a means to pull their innocent victims in 90% of the women that they pull in are empaths most men that have devil dick are narcissists and sociopaths When you are in a relationship with someone and the energy is off and you just feel like you're more drained than revitalized after sex, nine times out of ten, you're dealing with someone who has a gateway or a double dick. Most of these men, this is not something that just happened when they became adults. All of this stems from childhood manipulation, mind psychology, learning how to use your body member as a means to gaining something. Okay? It works for them. It will continue to work for them because they will continue to dick you down and cast you up under their sexual spell. You see, sex magic is real. And even if this person doesn't know what they are doing, they know what they're doing if you get what I'm saying. They may not know that they're casting a spell upon you. They may not know that it's a ritual, but it is a ritual. And this is something that I wanted to address. Spirit put it on my mind to address because I have been caught up in this many times. And when I say many times, I'm not saying with different people. I have been a victim of circumstances where I was fucked so good that I was in submission 
against my own commission. And what I mean by that is that I put up with an open marriage against my own free will because I was under the spell of devil dick. And I didn't even, you know, the crazy part about it, I didn't even realize it. It took me a while before I actually realized because of how good I was made love to that I was in an open marriage. And that I gave full consent without even recognizing that that, that's the very thing that was happening because I was being lied to. I was being sold dreams, pipe dreams about how my husband was going to come back home to me and that we were going to be a family. And the whole time he had a side chick that he hid from me. But because I loved him so much and when he made to, made love to me, he convinced me so well that I was the only one. You guys, for a lot of women, even though sex is not everything, sometimes this is what keeps us stuck in relationships and this is what keeps us stagnant because of the thrill, because of the fact that he can make you have multiple orgasms and oh my God, I can't go anywhere else. No one's going to make me feel this way. But when they make you feel bad outside of the bedroom, is it really worth staying? Oh, I'm not going to be able to find anyone who has a large penis like this person. So I'm going to just go ahead and stay and put up. I'd rather you don't. I'd rather you pull yourself together, cut the soul ties, unplug energetically, and move on with your life. Because devil dick will get you caught up. Devil dick will have you losing your identity of self, your self-worth, your self-love, your self-respect. Because these men with devil dicks are very disrespectful. I'm going to say this again. These men with gateway slash devil dick are very disrespectful. They use their penis as an apparatus to get what they want from women. Whether that's money, whether that's your time, your energy, etc. Whatever that looks like for you. Devil dick can hold you back spiritually. And what I mean by that is that if you're in a relationship with someone who is very good in bed, the king of wands, because that's the energy that this is. This is the king of wands energy. Fuck boy energy. Okay. Someone who is only good for one thing. Someone who is only good for one thing. And one thing only. Because that's how they were raised. They weren't raised on love, sis. They were raised on survival. And you were their prey. I'm sorry that you thought that you were the one that they loved. And the only one that they loved. Because they love many. And they don't even love themselves or respect themselves because they give themselves away to many. And they open up themselves to demons and incubus and succubus. And many of you have been feeling drained and not knowing what's in your spirit. That's because you have some of their spirits in your spirit. And you need to cleanse. And you need to get rid of it. So you have picked up illnesses and don't even understand where in the hell it came from. It came from your devil dick. This message is a message 
for everybody, whether you've been through, going through, or still going through it. Get yourself out of that situation. It is for your own good. If you stay in a situation like this, this is for your demise. I see people talk about this all the time that are supposed to be so-called higher consciousness that are open to polyamory, open to polygamy. All that does is open you up to spirits. It is the most unconscious approach that anyone can take. If you look at the sacred text going all the way back, to the beginning of time almost okay and when i say the beginning of time of course you know that i'm being facetious but i'm just saying you know books that are 15 10,000 5,000 years old the thou okay the bhaktivad gita if you look at these books you will see that mon- um you know being monogamous was key The goal was to become one with the one, not two, three, four, five, six, and down the list. The end game was to find your twin flame. And no, it was not coined a twin flame and no twin flame is not new age. This goes back to the beginning of time. If you look in different cultures and you read their sacred text, you will find That they were all looking for their other half. And when they found their other half or attracted their other half, that was their nirvana. That was their heaven on earth. That's the end game, you guys. I can't make this stuff up. It wasn't to open yourself up to multiple people. And to become a, a, a walking open portal for spirits. Sex was meant to be sacred. That is the reason why it's called sex. Sacred energy exchange. Not the giving of oneself to many people, but to give yourself to one. And I have come to the conclusion of this transmission. Please like Share this video, get it out to as many people as you can. And also, I would like to see your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much. That is your contribution. That is your good karma. Namaste.